Carmelo Anthony agrees to a non-guaranteed contract with Portland, a team that has stumbled to start the season. And can Anthony kickstart him? He last played on November 8th of 2018. Rip City, baby. Ball don't lie, and it's no lie that Anthony likes the ball in his hands. Isolation plays are his bread and butter. This season, Portland runs the third most ISO plays and averages the second most points per direct ISO. So there's that. The art of the mid-range jumper has not been lost on Anthony. Since his rookie year, he's had the second most made shots from mid-range. This season, Portland has taken the fourth most mid-range shots. So there's that. And if you need a big three to succeed, might Anthony be that with Lillard and McCollum? Those two score 45% of Portland's points this season. Only Harden and Westbrook have combined to score a higher percentage. Let's bring in a guy who knows how to fill it up, Tim Legler. Tim, you're Terry Stotts. How do you use Carmelo Anthony? Well, I think if you're bringing in Melo, you have to bring him in with a purpose, and that is to let him be who he is as an offensive player, which means give him some touches, give him shots. Now, that could be in a limited basis. I, I would imagine coming off your bench, giving your second unit some firepower. I think Carmelo Anthony can come in and be a backup four-man in 15 to 18 minutes a game. If he comes back and he shows that he's maintained pretty good conditioning and he finds his legs, this, this absolutely elevates Portland because right now it looks like a team that's a little bit stale. They had a great year a year ago, but everybody in the West that they're trying to compete with to maintain status quo has gotten significantly better. I don't think that's the case with the Blazers when you look at their offseason personnel acquisitions. So this is the kind of situation that Carmelo Anthony can really come in, have an impact. The question is, and no one really knows this until we see him play, does he have legs under him? Because a guy that plays the way he does, Neil, takes a lot of contested jump shots off the dribble. That's been his game his entire career. You need legs and you need lift to get that shot off and to be an efficient player. Hopefully this is a good fit for him and a good fit for the team. And if that's the case, he gives Portland something they really need right now. Well, we'll find out if he's got legs, legs, because word is he's supposed to join the Blazers Saturday at San Antonio. Tim Legler. Carmelo Anthony back in the league, right? It, it was all, he started out last preseason with Houston and then it didn't work out. And he has been sort of out there. I want I don't want to say campaigning, but letting everybody know, hey, yeah, yeah. look at me. I'm still here. Yeah, I have value. I have value. Yeah. So he finally signs with the Portland Trailblazers, which is interesting because the Blazers had a pretty decent run in the postseason last right. year. And then they watched a lot of teams in the Western Conference essentially say, hold on. They stayed the same, signed a bunch of signed their, their stars to long term deals. And then everybody went to L.A., the Clippers and the Lakers getting a, a abundance of those players. And we saw Russ go to Houston. <laughs> so there was a lot of movement, except there wasn't a lot of movement for Portland. So now they get Mello, who is going to be a Hall of Famer. There's no question about it. But they're sitting there at 4-8 and eight in the Western Conference, which is loaded. Uh, they've lost their last two games. So I guess the real question is, what is Carmelo actually going to give you, right? Yeah, that, that's absolutely the question. His last stint was the 10 games with Houston last year. He started a couple, averaged 13 points a game. Uh, it's always been asked, what's he going to accept as a role? What will he accept in Portland, whose forwards, by the way, are in the bottom, like, five right. of all the major statistics out there, so they need help. But is, Camaro, is Carmelo that help? Is, Camar is Carmelo, is Carmelo <laughs> a needle mover for this team? Yeah. That's, that's, Mike, that's what I don't know. I don't know if I see that coming or not, quite honestly. Well, he's a bucket. Like, that's the one thing we've Buckets. consistently heard from everybody, from all the analysts. Cause that's been the weird part, is less Carmelo Anthony campaigning and more – all of Carmelo Anthony's peers seem to be campaigning for the idea that Carmelo being out of the league was some sort of travesty and that because he's a future Hall of Famer, him not being able to go out on his own terms is something that is disagreeable. But the one thing we can all agree on is he is a bucket. Like, I, I think looking right now, the Trailblazers are 27th in points yes. per game, tied for 28th in assists. That number's not going to go no, up. No, I was about but to say, he's not yeah, that a, one. Yeah, he, he ain't helping that number one bit. But uh, <laughs> points per game, that one could go up. He's a legitimate source of offense. And so if you're a team that's looking for, and, and this goes to the role point you guys brought up, if you're looking for someone who in, can inject a little bit of life, maybe into your second unit at this point, maybe even in your first unit if you want to mix things up early in the season, he is theoretically a guy that can still do that. Yeah, they're last in the league in field goal percentage. Now, I think their field goals may go up in terms of volume. I'm not sure how many percent, how many percentage points are going to go up because uh, many times Carmelo is like a you know a big box door shooter, better better discount by, by, by volume. volume. By he's, volume. A, he's a career 45 percent field goal shooter right. and. 
A lot's going to come to, with Houston. He averaged 29 minutes a game. Where right. Where is that going to be? Because that's always been the big thing. What right. role does he accept coming off the bench? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.